Okay, well, I think it's a big myth in, uh, in bodybuilding in the gym world that you need to constantly change your routine. Um, <clears throat> most of the exercises that I used to become British champion, to become professional, to become Mr. Olympia, didn't really change that much through my whole career of uh, 12 years. What's changed a little was um, the routine, how often I was training in the gym, um, taking note how much recovery time I needed. And as I got bigger and stronger, I actually needed more recovery time. Um, so that was the biggest change. Uh, the actual exercises um, don't need to be changed that much, unless there's a reason this exercise is not working for you anymore. You have an injury and it's something you need to avoid. Um, and it's something uh, I think a lot of trainers do oh, you need to change your routine every month or every two months or so on, just to make the, the client or the customer feel satisfied that they're getting something new. Um, with bodybuilding, it's not uh, exactly the case. If you have exercises that work for you, they work for your structure. For instance, uh, my back training routine was pretty much all the time, starting with pullovers, followed with some pull downs, and um, maybe two rowing exercises, which may have changed from time to time, but generally it was heavy barbell rows or dumbbell rows and cable rows. So that was my back routine. If you look at uh, whoever, Lee Haney, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, you will see that they pretty much do the same routine. They found the exercises that work for them. Um, you need to vary the intensity sometimes. You can't train all out 100% all the time. So that's something that needs to vary. I found that if you're training HIT, which I recommend is the most effective way to train, you can probably train like that where you're pushing and you're trying to achieve more each and every workout for maybe six weeks, maybe eight weeks, absolutely maximum. And then I recommend going to a lighter training routine for two weeks or three weeks, kind of an active recovery. So that's how I would change the routines. And uh, just taking note, if you need more recovery time, maybe train a little bit less frequently. But the actual exercises that work are the exercises that work. Same if you take, for instance, my leg routine. Um, for many, many years it was leg extensions followed by leg press and hack squats. Those, that was my quad routine. And um, so there's no need to necessarily change the exercises or the order of the exercises all the time. And if you do that, it makes it very hard to track progress as well. Because how do you know if you're progressing or not if you're constantly changing things around? So um, yes, you should vary the routine in terms of the intensity of the workout. Sometimes you need to cycle down to less intensity, more active recovery, not training all out, not training to failure for a short period of time. Or sometimes also taking a whole week off from training is great for a general recovery. Um, but no need to change the exercises or all the other exercises constantly, all the time. That's a big, big myth and a mistake that people make.